Hi everybody, it's Beza from Beza's Paper Passion coming to you with my second project for Shabby is Chic Boutique. That's Amy Love Store on Facebook. She has a group where she offers delicious embellishments and trims. And after doing, actually I did, yeah, one project already. This is my second project, which actually I did two. I still have some supplies left, so you could tell she sends very generous design team packages so anyway let me go ahead and share with you what I made the first uh, project for this time is a bow this is a, um, a template that I bought uh, several years ago and I still love it I have it made from um, chipboard pieces that way I can use it every time but this time after I made the bow I decided to include some of Amy's uh, delicious I call it because it's so pretty it's like many layered um, lace trim so I use some in there just to kind of jazz it up and some on that side and then I use the dangle trim as like the centerpiece for the for the bow and what this is let me show you it's um, it's this one and what I did is I just folded it back and forth like that and it created a lot of dangle this is really pretty I love this trim I gotta get some more from her so that's this piece and then I used another one of her um, pieces as the centerpiece I did lift it up a little bit because after you make the bow it, it's kind of deep in the middle so I put one of those recollection white uh, Michaels frames mini frames I should say to kind of build uh, build that part up so that's my first project and then I decided to do a second one for her um, and this is a jar that I alter altered it, it was one of the smaller I don't think it was a mason jar I think it was just a regular jar and it is functional to put goodies and stuff inside of it I think these are the one one of the ones from the Dollar Tree if I remember because the mason jars have the signature um, you know the the designs on it and this one doesn't so I'm thinking this was one that I purchased from the Dollar Tree uh, so in this one I started with I used some of the the tool those round tools that you could buy to make flowers I know it's kind of hard to see but I did want to make it pink so I gessoed the jar with my Prima gesso and then I put the tool on top of it and then this is from Amy's store little trim that goes around it it's little glue pieces right there and then I tried to put um, not glitter but it's um, I can't think of it but it didn't come out like I wanted it to I thought oh it was um, embossing powder and I was gonna try to emboss it but it was not a good combination so it kind of makes it now look like um, like sand which which is okay not the effect that I wanted but still pretty um, and then I took that, that same trim that I used on the side of the, the bow right there, that trim, and I uh, spray painted it, um, not spray paint, what is it that I want to say? Spray misted it. I spray misted it with my favorite Prima Color Bloom Spray. It's called Cotton Candy. I love this stuff. I use it on everything and that changed the color of the trim to the exact shade that I wanted so that decorated the side of the jar and then these little hearts are from her store and on the top of it again I use that same trim and I'm trying to talk close to my phone that I'm recording from because in the past videos it seems like the volume is low so if I'm starting to scream and talk really loud excuse me I just want vo the volume to go across so I'm talking kind of loud I have to remind myself to do that um, so I use that same trim to make a flower on the lid and then use one of my shabby chic pieces flower pieces from my stash and then this little um, not little the giant bling is from Amy's store so that's what I created for Amy for my second design team project for the month of June um, I do have a brand new um, design team package that I received from her and I was gonna do a separate video on that and I used some of the pieces already let me see so I'm going to show you I'm going to 
going to show you real quick what I received from her to design for the month of July. And like I said, I already used some of the pieces, so I'm kind of guilty of not showing you everything. But this is um, a napkin, a beautiful napkin. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use that yet, but I'm probably going to decoupage it. I received two of these bags. One of them I've already used for my design team project for her for the month of July. And then this is the rest of the package. Beautiful pieces in here. There is this gorgeous piece. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. And then this one's my favorite. This is the, uh, I received much more than this. I've already used some for my project. Sorry. Isn't that gorgeous? love it and I think I've mentioned it it's in the past but she allows you to choose the pieces you want to work with which is very rare for a design team because usually you just get what you get and then you have to create with it oh, there's buttons for my stash so let me I was trying to figure out um, what to do with that and then there's this gorgeous oops fell right out of my hands I love this. So pretty. Then she has these foam foam roses that are so pretty. Look at that. They're made of foam. That is so neat to add different textures because you always want to add like different textures when you're doing your projects. I think I used, yes, I used a little a piece of this already, so that's why it doesn't seem like that much because I already used it. Guilty. There's a beautiful crown. Oh, there's some more of, this is what I use on top of the jar. See? Oh, I didn't know I got more of that. And some pretty white lace. And another one. Boy, I must have really liked that one. I asked her for more. And I think there was more of these too. So anyway, stay tuned for more videos. I have another video to upload shortly. Um, thank you so much for stopping by and watching my my videos. Please subscribe and please comment. I do read your comments. And remember, my giveaway is still going on. Uh, nothing to enter, nothing to send me. I, when I reach 3,000 subscribers, I'll choose a winner. That's how simple it is. So um, thank you very much for stopping by. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Bye.